Thank you, Manish, for the introduction. Uh, okay, so let me get started. I have uh, listed a couple of references, which are... Uh, so the first one is the original work of Bruhatitz. It's part one and two, Reductive Groups Over Local Fields. This is in French. And then there is a more recent uh, a book by uh, Kaleta and Prasad uh, titled Bruhatitz Theory, A New Approach. So these are uh, the references that uh, for, for, the, for the subject. And uh, my talks, the two talks that I will be giving are uh, sort of properly contained in, in this book. And uh, I will be using this as my primary reference. Okay. Uh, so first, uh, so this is the plan. Uh, it's slightly different from what I had. Uh, I mean, my abstract, I think, was a bit more ambitious than what, what I can cover. So I will, uh, I will begin with an overview of the subject today. And I will cover the SL2 theory carefully. Uh, or a, 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 to, to, to a large extent. And then I will... Uh, uh, say a few things about uh, the case of SU3, the building for SU3, and hint on the general approach. I, 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 that's all I will be able to do. But today's lecture will, after the overview, will primarily be about uh, the group SL2 and how one goes about constructing the building for SL2. Okay. So uh, uh, an overview of what this subject is about. Um, okay. So the, the setup is the following. So let G be... A connected reductive group uh, over over a non-Archimedean local field uh, local field F. So for 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 the purposes of this talk and maybe even the next one, you can just assume that G is GLN and uh, F is QP. Okay. And what the theory does is the theory. Uh, constructs uh, what's called the 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 Bruhatitz building of uh, of G of F. Okay, it uh, it is usually denoted. I, I'll I'll introduce denotation denoted as B of G F. It has. Uh, I, I'll summarize what it is. It is one, a topological space. It, it is in fact a metric space. It comes equipped with a metric. Um, it has the structure, uh, the structure of, of a polysimplicial complex. I will not say what poly is any polysimplicial complex. Um, The group, the group G of F acts on the building, acts on the building B of G F uh, via, I mean, uh, via automorphisms that uh, preserve uh, the simplicial structure. I should remark here, so G of F is a topological group. It becomes a topological group from the topology it inherits from the field F. Okay. Uh, uh, and uh, given given uh, X in B of G F, given a point in the building, because G of F acts on it, you can consider, you can consider the stabilizer gx, which is the set of all g in g of f, such that g dot x is x. This is one natural subgroup to consider. There are there are other uh, subgroups called uh, one of I mean one family is called called parahoric subgroups that appear. Um, as part of the theory, 
and uh, it is likely that you have already encountered paraharic subgroups in some of the earlier talks on uh, representations of PID groups and it has uh, and the subgroups the paraharic subgroups and their filtrations have uh, some extensive applications in representation theory and have uh, extensive applications uh, in representation theory of of groups like of g of f the the building comes equipped with with a family of subspaces with a family of subspaces called called apartments and uh, which are themselves uh, I mean, the apartments are just Euclidean spaces. Uh, okay, they are affine spaces. And after uh, making a choice of an origin, they become Euclidean spaces. And uh, uh, and uh, the building is obtained by gluing these apartments together. The apartments also have the structure of a simple shell complex and the building. And the building is obtained uh, by gluing these apartments together and uh, I mean the gluing is sort of done in a very uh, sp specific way and in fact uh, the, the way the apartments are glued together uh, the, the even the condition to define that glue uh, the parahoric subgroups come in and, and uh, parahoric subgroups uh, play a role. Okay, and um, how are these apartments constructed? The apartments are uh, are indexed by the maximal uh, f split tori in G of f. So for each, uh, okay, so if, if you just work with the group GLN, so then for each uh, 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 split maximal torus in GLN, you will get, you will construct an apartment for it. And uh, so, so for example, uh, in, in, in GLN, you have the diagonal torus uh, sitting inside it. And, uh, and corresponding to this, you will have an apartment. And similarly, for the various tori, you will have apartments. And the building is obtained by gluing all these apartments together. Okay, um, the polysimplicial structure. I mean, the word poly plays a role only when you're working with. Uh, so, for example, if you assume that your group is say uh, simple, then uh, what you get is actually a simplicial complex. You don't have to worry about uh, uh, polysimplicial. The word poly here. Uh, so, uh, okay, the ball. Sorry. The polysimplicial structure on K of T F is 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 induced by a family of hyperplanes um, and these hyperplanes are vanishing loci, vanishing loci of uh, affine linear functionals of certain of, of some of some um, affine linear functionals called uh, called affine roots And loosely, I mean, we will we will get to this uh, later in the lecture. But loosely, affine roots are just integer translates of the of the roots uh, uh, in uh, in the root system corresponding to T and G. Okay, and uh, uh, the uh, the affine while group. Again, I'll introduce this for SL two today. The affine while group, uh, which is the while group attached to this affine root system. Uh, which is the while group attached 
to the affine root system. Acts on acts on the apartment, acts on the apartment P of T F. Okay, I, I didn't I guess I didn't say this. Uh, the apartment, this is the notation for the apartment corresponding to T uh, over the field F. I, I guess I didn't explicitly introduce this on the apartment A of T F and uh, and permutes. The, the facets of A of T F, okay, and uh, so this is roughly what uh, how the building is constructed and the the various information. I mean, of course, there is much more to it, but this is what I will be able to say something about in these two lectures. So what I want to do is we will today today we will construct. the the building the uh, the building for uh, the group sl2 f okay and uh, and uh, as you will see uh, the uh, i mean and as we will see i mean at least that's the motivation so the the building is a way of organizing the the uh, the I mean I can't say okay the open compact subgroups subgroups of G of F. This is how the general construction is also done. Okay, so I will construct the building for SL2F today. And the way, I mean, of, uh, I am following Kalita Prasad for this particular, uh, for this particular uh, talk. And uh, the way this building will be constructed is suggestive of the general construction. The general construction will also be done in this manner with, uh, but of course the various steps uh, will undergo changes depending on the group. Uh, I mean, it will be more complicated, not depending on the group, but it will be more complicated. But for SL2F, we'll be able to do everything sort of explicitly and I'll do that today. Uh, so, so okay, so I will introduce some more notation. So of course my F I've already said is a non-Archimedean local field. OF is its uh, ring of integers. PF is its maximal ideal. Uh, Q is the cardinality of the residue field. I'll, I'll denote it as Q. And uh, the group G is SL2F, which is the set of all matrices in M2 of F with determinant one. Okay, so I will begin with a fact which I will not prove fact. The group, this group G, uh, okay, so. Oh, okay, I mean, maybe I will be careful and denote it as G of F. Okay, so the group, the group, uh, the group G of F um, has two conjugacy classes of uh, maximal open compact subgroups and uh, 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 the representatives. Uh, representatives of these conjugate and uh, okay, not the okay, uh, sorry, and uh, and uh, the uh, P0, which is SL2 of O, and, and uh, I'll denote it as P half. The reason for this will become clear as we progress, which is the set of all OF, uh, PF inverse. PF and OF, I mean, matrices of this form contained in SL2F uh, give representatives of, of these two conjugacy classes. Okay, so I will not prove this result, but I will, uh, maybe let's, uh, I'll just quickly tell you what the idea is. So the first, okay, so uh, idea, First, address this question for SL2F, uh, GL2F. 
first uh, understand this for GL2F. Uh, there you can show that uh, you can take any lattice in uh, F, F square and the stabilizer of that lattice, um, you can look at the stabilizer of that lattice and that will give you the maximal compact subgroups. And, uh, and then you can, uh, you can restrict it to SL2 and see how the conjugacy class is split once you go to SL2 and uh, intersect with uh, intersect with SL2. Okay, this is not uh, this is not a difficult uh, argument. I'll give you a reference, a precise reference where this is proved. So you can look at this blue book of Platonov and uh, Rapinchuk. Uh, the title is Algebraic Groups and Number Theory. Algebraic Groups and Number Theory. Uh, and uh, the proposition. 3.14. Okay, so that's the reference. So, but I'll take this fact for granted today. So, we do have two conjugacy classes of maximal open compact subgroups in SL2F, and representatives are given by and uh, representatives for these conjugacy classes can be taken to be this these two groups, P0 and P half. Okay. Now, uh, um, So if, if we had to go by what I said earlier, the building is a way of organizing the open compact subgroups, then uh, what will happen? So we will construct our building. Our building. So that, I, I told you that this will be a simplicial complex so that the vertices in the building are precisely the the maximal open compact subgroups. Okay, so this P zero will correspond to some vertex in the building. Similarly, P half will correspond to another vertex in the building, and then all the other conjugates of this will give you the various other vertices in the building. Okay, so that's how we will be constructing the building. So, how, as I said, the way we are going to do it is we will first construct apartments, put a simplicial structure on the apartment and define parahoric subgroups um, and then glue the apartments together to form the building, to, to obtain the building. Okay, so that's, so that's what I will do. We will, we will construct the building. Building. By constructing apartments constructing apartments uh, and gluing them together. Okay, so let me first, let me do that. Okay, so uh, for what is called, uh, what uh, Kalita Prasad called the standard apartment. So the standard apartment So let me first define this. You have the maximal, the standard maximal torus, which is just the diagonal torus inside SL2F. And, uh, and you also have a, a Borel subgroup, which is given by the group of uh, upper triangular matrices in SL2. Okay. And uh, let N be the normalizer of T. Okay. So this will be generated. Okay. So I'll. Uh, Okay, uh, I'm not being very, I mean, I'm uh, sort of mixing notation and denoting the algebraic group and its F points by the same letter. I think I'll continue to do that. Okay, so N is NG of T of F. Note that N is generated by uh, the torus and this uh, this while, uh, this representative of, any representative of this while group element. Okay, and uh, we have a positive root. We have a positive root. Uh, which we will denote as A from T to GM. GM is the multiplicative group. So this, this is X, X inverse, an element of the torus goes to X square and uh, a co-root, a positive co-root, uh, A check from T, sorry, from GM to T uh, given by X goes to X and X inverse. And uh, uh, Note that uh, note that a check 
is an isomorphism. Uh, and, uh, and the co-character lattice, X lower star T, which is the set of all homes from T to GM, is, uh, is, isom is, is basically Z. Okay, now uh, uh, in uh, so 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 I, I've already said that T is isomorphic to GM, so T of F is isomorphic to F cross, and in F cross you have a you have a natural filtration. In F cross, we have uh, sorry we have a, a a natural filtration. So it's given by F cross contained in O cross, O F cross contained in one plus P F, oh sorry, containing one plus P F square and so on. Okay. Now you can use this isomorphism A check to you uh, to give a filtration on the torus. Okay. So from this, this this yields a filtration on on P of F uh, denoted as T of F, T of F n, so where T of F uh, n is uh, a check of 1 plus P F to the n, so this is if n greater than, uh, n greater than or equal to 1, and a check of O F cross for, for n equals 0. Okay, so you do get a, you get, you do get a descending filtration on the torus, in this uh, in this manner, and similarly, uh, I have a, a filtration on the root subgroups as well. So let me uh, and uh, and similarly, uh, we also have we also have uh, one parameter subgroups uh, of of G of F. So you have this map XA. This is the XA from the additive group GA to G, which sends uh, X to uh, 1, X, 0, 1, and the, the negative uh, root, so GA to uh, 1 corresponding to the negative root, uh, GA to G, X goes to uh, 1, X, 0, 1. Okay, I'm going to define the apartment. Let A of TF. Uh, be equal to x lower star t tensor over z r. So this is just a copy of r. I will make some remarks later about this, uh, maybe in the next lecture, about, about this equality. But for this lecture, I'm just going to take my apartment to be uh, this space, x lower star t tensor r, which is just r. And uh, using the natural pairing between the character and the co-character lattices using the natural pairing uh, between x lower star t and x upper star t. This is the character lattice. So this is the set of all homes from t to gm. And this is the set of all homes from gm to t. Okay. We may view roots. We get, we see that uh, roots can be uh, thought of as as linear forms um, on on a of t f, which is x lower star t tensor r. That is that is for b in x. In, in fact, not just for roots. In fact, for b in x upper star t and. Uh, uh, x in a of t f i can write we can uh, we know we can we know uh, we know uh, the pairing between b and x okay now let uh, i'm going to define the parahoric subgroups i've already defined the apartment this is this is my apartment corresponding to this maximal torus t define px to be the group generated by T of F zero, uh, X A of O, uh, uh, sorry, X A of P F to the power minus the floor function of B X, uh, where, uh, so let me write this as X B and uh, where 
where B is in the set A and minus A. Okay, so I'm going to define this subgroup of, uh, of SL2F which is generated by the zeroth filtration of the torus. And on the root subgroups, uh, here you have a positive root, you have exactly one positive root and one negative root. So I will land inside the root subgroup uh, when I apply XP and I'm going to take PF to the power minus the, so this is the, this is the, this is the largest integer less than or equal to X, uh, less than or equal to, sorry, this, whatever this is. Uh, Sorry. Uh, okay. Now you can see note E zero for the for P zero and P half are the subgroups. Are the subgroups we had defined earlier? Uh, we had defined earlier to recall P zero was this group. Uh, sorry. Uh, yeah. Uh, P zero was this group uh, OF, 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 and OF contained in uh, SL two uh, F and uh, P half uh, is the subgroup. Uh, uh, OF, note that you get PF inverse here, PF and OF. Okay. Uh, contained in SL2. So instead of just defining it at, uh, so earlier I had uh, I had motivated, uh, uh, the reason we ended up in this situation, uh, the reason we considered this question was we were trying to organize our open compact subgroups. So we looked at the maximal open compact subgroups in SL2. They form two conjugacy classes with representatives given by these. Now we have defined Px for every x in uh, in R, which uh, which is identified with the apartment of T with re, uh, over F. Okay. And for for, for zero, less than x, less than half, you can look at what this subgroup looks like. So Px is uh, T of f zero, x a of o f. Now I'm looking at zero less than, uh, so I'm looking at uh, zero less than x, less than half. Note that x is just, you can write it as x can be written as x times a check. Right, that's how that's how I've identified my my x lower star t is generated by a check, and that's how I I've identified this. So the pairing between a and a check is two. So uh, one half is where I uh, 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 so p one half uh, takes this form, and then uh, if I'm strictly between zero and one half, then the then the floor function is going to be zero. So I get x a of o f here, and then uh, 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 x minus a of, uh, I have to look at uh, 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 the negative root. So I will get, uh, I'll get PF here. Okay. So this is, uh, if I had to write it in matrix notation, this would be OF, 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 and PF here. This is my, uh, this is my subgroup. Uh, the set of all matrices contained in SL2. Now it's actually contained in OF itself. And, uh, and uh, this group Px is called the, uh, I mean, I should make a remark before, okay. And this group Px is called the Ivahori, is called an, an Ivahori subgroup, uh, subgroup of, uh, of G of F. Note that, uh, no, note, I mean, I call, uh, it's not, no, uh, Px, uh, is the same is the same group for all zero less than x less than half. At uh, at zero, I have a certain maximal uh, open compact subgroup. At half, I have another maximal open compact subgroup. And these two maximal open compact subgroups are not conjugate inside SL2. And between zero and half, I get this subgroup, which is of course again open and compact, but it is not a maximal. So this uh, this group uh, Px is open compact, but uh, but not maximal. Uh, I mean, it's properly contained in a maximal open compact, but not, not maximal. Okay, 
now let okay so now that i have attached uh, i have attached uh, uh, subgroups of sl2f at every point x in f uh, so for 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 each x in a of df uh, we have defined we have defined a, a pf a, a, a subgroup subgroup x now question uh, for which uh, for which points points x in r is px maximal um now to uh, so how would we go about this so so we are looking at points x and r for which we apx is maximal we already know no uh, we have maximal uh, uh, open compacts at zero and half and uh, and note 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 that uh, px plus 1 is conjugate to px uh, by by the element a check of i guess pi pi f uh, inverse where uh, pi f is a uniformizer of f Okay, so this is an elementary calculation. You can see that px plus one is conjugate to px by a check of pi inverse. So where do we have our uh, uh, open compact subgroups? It's uh, so the the uh, uh, so from this uh, so so from this uh, and uh, okay and uh, and uh, a conjugate of uh, Maximal open compact is again uh, uh, the same again. A maximal open compact. So what do we get? Uh, so the so the so the maximals are are at x in A of T F for which for which the pairing between a and x is is an integer okay now what do we do uh, so how do we uh, how do we record this um, how do we uh, record uh, this so so we introduce Uh, what are called affine roots um, which is the which is the the set of affine linear functionals uh, of the form um, Uh, uh, B plus J, where B is in A or minus A and J is in an integer. Okay, I mean, these are, uh, so how do you define, uh, yeah, so these are affine linear functionals on, on, on R, on, on uh, A of T F of the form uh, B plus J, where uh, B is either A or minus A and J is in Z. Now, uh, so what, what have we noted? So we have noted that the uh, we have noted that the uh, that the maximal uh, so what do, what do we get okay so the, the pairing between a and x is an integer so what what does that mean so how how is this defined so b plus j of of x is uh, b of x plus j where you have a natural 
natural pairing between uh, x lower starity and x upper starity and that's how b of x was defined and we just observed that the maximal ones are precisely where this is an integer so so, so this function so let's say b of x is an integer k uh, so if b of x is k in z then uh, uh, b uh, b minus k of x is zero so x lies in x x is the what, what, so what is x x is uh, 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 some affine root vanishes at x so the maximal compacts corresponding to correspond to points x in the apartment uh, at which some affine root vanishes okay so we have no so let me write this down so we have noted that the that the maximal uh, compact subgroups uh are are those points x for which uh, the pairing between a and x is an integer that is for those uh uh, uh at which for that is the, uh, for those x for which some affine root Xi vanishes. Whatever this integer is, you can take that integer. I mean, if if the if the px is a maximal open compact, then this is an integer, and then that gives you an affine root at which x vanishes. Okay, so this is another way of uh, capturing where the uh, open compact subgroups, where the where the maximal open compact subgroups are sitting on this copy of. Uh, on this copy of R, okay. So in other words, so what have we done? Um, so the set of uh, now the set of affine roots uh, gives gives a, a simplician structure. And what are these? So you have zero dimensional simplices and given by given by uh, zeros of affine roots. And then you have one dimensional simplices, uh, which are are intervals between uh, two zero dimensional simplices. Okay. Now, uh, as I have remarked, so we have already remarked, we have remarked that uh, that Px is constant on the facet uh, F containing X. So, so we may denote uh, denote px as just uh, pf. Okay. So, what have we done? We have taken, we have defined our apartment. You have a copy of R, and here uh, you have a uh, you have a for, for each x in R, we define the subgroup px, and uh, uh, at p zero you have p zero, you have p half, and then uh, P1 and so on, and here you have a subgroup P uh, F. Okay, so the vertices are the zero-dimensional uh, facets where the maximal open compacts are sitting, and uh, between two any two consecutive vertices you have an edge, and the parahoric subgroup corresponding to that edge is uh, is what I called an Iwahori subgroup. So and they are all basically conjugates of of the one. Everything else is a conjugate of this. I, I'll say that. Then. Okay, so what have we done? So again, we, we started off with trying to organize our open compact subgroups. We defined, uh, uh, we took a copy of the real line, which is the apartment corresponding to this torus. And there at each point on that line, we defined a subgroup Px. That's what we uh, did here. And we wanted to identify the, the maximal ones. And for that, we observed that the pairing between A and X uh, is an integer. So that led to the notion of affine roots. So affine roots basically keep track of, so the, the derivative, uh, okay, so the affine root you have,
have a gradient which is which is just a finite root an element of the finite root system and then you take an integer translate of it and that integer translate basically kept information about um uh, whether the uh, uh, the the maximal open com uh, the open compact that you have is maximal or not okay so that's what we have done so far now uh, now uh, so what uh, what else can can, can also uh, be observed that uh, that uh, um So we observe that px plus one and px are conjugate, conjugate by uh, a check of pi f inverse. Okay. So we observe this. So these these two the subgroups the parahoric subgroups here are conjugate. The parahoric subgroups sitting here are conjugate. This is for SL two. Okay. And the parahoric subgroups uh, these parahoric subgroups are conjugate and so on. So we want uh, another way of capturing this information is by looking at the while group corresponding to the affine root system. So the affine root system itself enabled us to define a simplicial structure on the apartment. The while group of the affine root system will now act on this apartment and it will permute some uh, facets okay so the this this conjugacy uh, uh, can be captured using the using the uh, the affine while group um so let me let me say what it is I, I'll tell you uh, two two ways of thinking about the affine group. Okay, so first, note that the the group x lowest R T acts on the apartment A of T F by by translations. Okay. So, uh, right, I mean, it just acts on, I mean, recall that this is just X lowest RT tensor over Z with R. So, they, uh, so X lowest RT acts on E of TF by translations. And uh, further, the Y group, uh, the Y group of the root system, so W of GT, in this case, it is just isomorphic to Z mod 2Z, also acts on uh, a uh, how does it act so uh, let uh, let uh, w0 uh, uh, be the uh, be the uh, the element uh, let w0 be this element okay so uh, oh, sorry In, in SL2F, then uh, W0 is a representative of, of the uh, non-trivial while group element. And what does it do? And uh, W0 sends the root sorry, W0 sends the root A to minus A, A check to minus A check. So the way it is acting on the apartment is by inversion. So W0 acts on A by inversion. So it sends X to minus X. Now, so we have, so we have an action. So we have an action of X lowest RT, and uh, w0 on a so 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 this yields uh, i mean there is some checking to do here but this yields an action of uh, this group uh, uh, x lowest rt semi direct product with w0 in this case it is just z semi direct product with z mod 2z note that w0 acts naturally on x lowest rt in fact that's how we had defined the action on on the apartment okay so uh, so you do get an action of uh, this group on the apartment on a of tf okay 
so and uh, the group the group w which is this group z semi direct product with z mod 2 z is called uh, the while group of the of the affine root system Okay. Now uh, this is uh, this is a sort of very explicit way of doing it. You can realize the while group abstractly as well. So uh, let me uh, the 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 an abstract realization 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 of of W. So I want to de define what this is. So note uh, uh, note we have a valuation homomorphism, right? We have a we have a Uh, a valuation homomorphism, which I will denote as omega, from the group D of f to x lower star t. I mean, how, I'll just quickly say how this is defined. What is x? So x lower star t is just uh, formed from. Uh, okay, so maybe let me just write this here. Uh, which is just. Is the Holmes from uh, x upper star t to z? So how would you define this valuation homomorphism? So you take t and then you want to send chi to minus valuation of chi of t. Okay. So this is the this is the map you have, and uh, uh, this is correct. Okay. So and then uh, what? You, and so 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 using this so using this. we can uh define an action of of t of f on on a i mean by a, because it acts so x lower star t acts on a naturally so how i mean i can just write this down so you take uh, um you take x and send it to x minus uh, omega of t where omega is now an element of x lower star t And uh, it acts on on the apartment. Okay, so I can define the action of T of F by uh, uh, via the action of X lower star T on A. Okay, and now you can extend. Now I I'll just do it naively. So extend this, extend this to an action, to an action of uh, of the normalizer. itself on a i mean as i said earlier so the normalizer will be generated by t of f and this non trivial while group element so i just have to tell you how the while group element acts i mean you just let it act by inversion okay so this is um, so by letting uh, w0 act on a by inversion so uh, so n g of t of f acts on it okay now uh, so i have a certain so what we have done is we have made a certain subgroup of sl2f which is the normalizer of this torus in sl2f it uh, it acts on a and how does it act on a just by the very definition it is clear further it is clear that uh, this action preserves the the simplicial structure on it okay and uh, uh and uh, an easy again an an easy 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 calculation shows that uh, shows that uh, um the the you can look at p n dot f now i have a action of the normalizer of the torus on the apartment itself the apartment is already a simplicial complex and i have that this is equal to n p f n s okay uh i mean this is clear because uh uh the to i mean yeah it is clear so so yeah so just from this paragraph it is clear that uh, this is how uh, the parahoric subgroups so as i said i want to keep track of the parahoric subgroups in the apartment that are conjugate to each other and for 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 the apartment itself 
the the affine while group allows you to do that okay so that's that's this and uh, what is the note note so you re recall that the torus t of f is acting on uh, is acting via x lower star t which is the uh, and the map from here to here is given by the valuation of chi of t so when will the action be trivial it is precisely when the valuation of chi of t is zero so that is the that is the zeroth filtration okay so that those are the so note uh, the kernel of this action is uh, is given by uh, t of f zero which is o cross okay that those are the elements whose valuation is zero so so we get an action action of ng of t of f mod t of f o on the apartment uh, a of t f again it respects the respecting the simplicial structure and uh, what do you have and uh, and you have this exact sequence we have this exact sequence uh, uh, one goes to t of f mod t of f zero goes to the normalizer of t of f mod t of f zero goes to the while group w zero goes to one and uh, 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 you can show that the sequence uh, splits and, and, and w is isomorphic to n g of t of f mod t of f zero. Uh, uh, this gives abstract. I mean, I am not being very precise here. I haven't said many things, but anyway, so this gives an abstract. Okay. Now I have defined my apartment. I have put a simplicial structure on it and I have attached subgroups to various points in the apartment. I have identified where the maximal open compact subgroups are sitting and I know how to move from one to uh, move between two conjugates via this element or via the elements of this uh, of this while group. Okay, so in the few minutes I have, let me just define the building. Okay, so why, okay, I've done this. For, okay, so the building, uh, the building. Um, Again, we started off with the motivation that we want to organize our uh, open compact subgroups. We have not even finished organizing our maximal open compact subgroups because recall that uh, you can take any SL to conjugate of this P naught or P half and that will still be a, a maximal open compact subgroup. But all that we have placed on the apartment are the N, no, N, NG of T of F conjugates of these P zero and P half. There is still more, and we want to uh, put the that, and we want to organize those open compact subgroups as well. So we take apart. So we uh, we have to. So okay. So let me write this down. The groups uh, P X X X and half Z uh, do not uh, do not exhaust uh, all the all the maximal open compact subgroups. Uh, subgroups uh, uh, because you could have uh, you could you could you could have an SL2 conjugate that is that is not an N conjugate right. now so we define the building as follows define the building As follows. So, uh, what do you want to do? How I mean, uh, as Kalita Prasad put it, you want to define it as a solution to the following problem. As uh, 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 so, uh, so consider a one-dimensional simplex f naught of A, uh, say with n points x naught and y naught. So uh, we want uh, a simplicial complex uh, 
uh, endowed with with a G of F action um, such that the stabilizers st uh, sorry stabil uh, stabilizers of uh, X naught and Y naught are the subgroups uh, P X naught and P Y naught. Okay, so how do you define this? So consider consider the set G of F cross A as a set. Uh, define a relation, define an equivalence relation as take an element gx, you declare that it is equivalent to the element hy if there exists n in n uh, g of t of f such that n dot x is y. Note that both x and y are points in the apartment. The normalizer acts on the apartment and uh, it stabilizes it. So you can look at, uh, you say that two points, the, the pair gx is equivalent to the pair hy if there is an element of the normalizer such that n dot x is y and uh, you require that g inverse hn belongs to px. Okay, now I have defined, so this, uh, this uh, is uh, this denoted as denoted as b of gf is called the uh, is called the Bruhatitz building of uh, of g of f. Okay, it has a lot of properties which I will not be able to touch touch at all. So I've just given the definition, and uh, you can sort of easily check that uh, we have uh, the way it is constructed is by uh, is as a solution to this problem that I mentioned here. So um, you take a point in the apartment. Uh, so if I note uh, h dot one x naught equals one x naught if and only if h belongs to p x naught. It's an elementary, I mean, just from this group. Oh, sorry, I, I did not even tell you how the group acts on this. So uh, uh, the, 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 okay, sorry. So the building uh, B of GF carries, uh, carries an action uh, of, of G of F. So G dot uh, H X is it just acts on the first component. Okay, so 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 the building carries the action of G of F, and uh, you can check that uh, uh, a point in the apartment. Oh, I, I didn't tell you this, but you can embed the um, there is an injection from A to uh, uh, A to B of G F, just taking a point X in A and sending it to the pair one comma X. Some checking is needed to check that it is an injection. But anyway, you have a copy of the apartment inside the building. And uh, you can check that the stabilizer of that action is precisely the subgroup px naught that I defined. Okay, so this is the construction of the building for the case of SL2. So I will make some remarks next time uh, because uh, in the general construction is not, uh, I mean, the apartment uh, that I defined depended on a few choices. Uh, uh, there, is, there is a choice of what is called the base point and uh, that choice was made when I defined the apartment. So next time I'll remark what, uh, how one would go about doing it, uh, although I won't get into the details. I'll, I'll, I'll say a few things about SU3 and maybe a few remarks about the general construction. So I'll stop here right now. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, so this uh, boundaries of the jump uh, at a given uh, filtration level, uh, do they uh, do they form some uh, nice geometric structure? Is this also a polysimplicial complex? The boundaries of the jump will just give you vertices in the building. Uh, no. Boundaries of the jump at say R, like at which points uh, there is... Uh, Boundaries of which jumps? Uh, uh, I mean, so the root... Parahorics will, be, parahorics will be constant for some parts at higher depths, right? 
at higher depth oh i have only defined the paraboric i have not gone to the filtration Uh huh. Uh, I've only I, defined the parahoric. I didn't go to the moipresat filtration of the parahoric. Yeah, yeah, you have not defined it. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And so, if we uh, if we take a different uh, uh, torus in it, then uh, is uh, is it clear what is the identification non quasi split torus? Uh, I don't understand the question. You take a different torus where? A uh, non-fossil split torus in G. Yeah. So the apartment is para parameterized by the maximal split tori. The apartments in the building are parameterized by the maximal split tori. Uh, yeah. So even yeah. if you take the quasi-split case, you look at the centralizer of a maximal split torus that will be a maximal torus, and that will be the one that goes into the definition of the parahoric subgroup. For, uh, yeah. So there are many. I'm saying for... that uh, if you take the building of some non-quasi split torus, non-quasi split torus, and then is this uh, how is it uh, identified in BGF? Is it you take the building of a non-quasi split torus? I I don't know what your. Uh... Just like you define, so a priori it will not have any part uh, filtrations. be we any apartments because it's just torus but i'm i'm just asking uh, how does it sit where uh, in bgf that's what i'm saying so the apartments are parameterized by the maximal split torus yeah yeah i know this but yeah. i'm saying uh, just like you could canonically identify the apartment of the quasi split torus in bgf if you Apart Ah, our oh, apartment of okay, apartment of uh, apartment of the quasi split torus in BGF. I I don't know how to do that canonical identification. Why is it not canonical? Canonical up to certain translations. The apartments are only parameterized by the maximum split torus. Right? So I don't know what does it mean to look at the identification of a non-split torus inside the building. No, you so you you used a quasi split torus uh, and then constructed. Uh, the building out of it by taking the translates right and gluing it and so there is i the, think the split torus i assume that my torus is meaning split. quasi split means that it to, to split torus which is con, like that split that torus which is contained in a borel i'm just talking in terms of more general setup so so that we can go to a general setting later on quasi split means that just torus which is contained in a borel so in this case of course every uh, this the torus you are taking is split torus but i'm saying that uh, that apartment there is an identification of the building of that torus and uh, if you took uh, another torus which is not split it's a building is uh, is is seen as what i don't understand the question uh... you are asking you take a connected reductive group it has a building attached to it you take a torus in the building you take yes. torus in the group it also has a building it attached to it and you are asking if there is an embedding of the building of the torus inside the building of the group is that the question no so yeah there is a an embedding of the uh, torus uh, but there is a family uh, just uh, in this particular context i wanted to uh, see the elaboration of that Anyway, it doesn't matter. So, uh, uh, are there any other question? Is there a notion of uh, uh, higher depth uh, evaporary vial groups? I don't know. Okay. Okay. I don't know. Okay. Um. I mean, I don't know what it is supposed to capture. The Ivahori vial group captures a certain thing, right? I mean, it is the. Uh, so the in that context, I asked the previous. You question. have a tit yeah. system. You have a tit system. So if you have the Ivahori, you have a tit system, and the vial group of attached to that is that tit system is the Ivahori vial group. At deeper yeah. level, I don't know what the group is supposed to capture. So. Um. i was just speculating whether it will capture anything about uh, the boundaries of uh, of the parahoric uh, like higher depth parahorics 
boundaries of head actually. like the g x yeah. comma r will be constant on certain certain portions of the buildings right and so the the boundaries where uh, where it will be constant and where it will jump to a different group that boundaries will 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 such boundaries be what is the geometry of such boundaries and will it be captured by some counterpart of eva higher depth counterpart of eva or even some question like that in the context of sl2 I don't know. Okay. <laughs> no problem. Okay. Any other question? Uh, uh, if not, then uh, let's thank the speaker and uh, see her uh, on the for the in the next talk. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks, Manish, also for coming to share. See you again on the Thursday, eleven a.m. Okay. Yes. See you. Okay. You can stop the live stream maybe. So you want to discuss offline and Malab, then you can discuss. Okay. When have you started? Stop the live stream. Ah, okay. Thank you. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll come. Uh, th so th Thursday again at eleven, right? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Ah. Same time. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, Manish. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. Sure. Bye. So I'll see you all. Bye. Yeah.